Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I kind of wanted to discuss uh, my son and um, I know a lot of parents out there, including myself, had a lot of questions about sleep training and um, what products we used to help with that, um, transitioning out of the swaddle, things like that. Um, I know I researched a lot on YouTube, so uh, my son is now a year old, so I really just wanted to talk about, you know, our process in that and um, what worked for us. I guess I should probably talk about is kind of like our sleep stories. So um, how we, from the time he was a newborn to now being 12 months old, um, what that process was and how well he slept. You know, he wasn't sleeping through the night um, as a newborn. Um, we were up several times a night, um, but it was to be expected. Um, I know there are some other babies out there that are sleeping through the night. All you mamas out there that are getting that, more power to you, but um, unfortunately that was not our case. Um, as a newborn, he um, would have wake times of every like two hours. So he would sleep for a couple hours and be awake for a couple hours. He really was just kind of a newborn and sleeping as he needed to. Um, and what was nice was during the night, he really wasn't, um, like he didn't have his days and nights switched. So it was nice when, you know, it was time to go to bed and kind of unwind for the night. You know, we were able to lay him down at eight o'clock um, and he would, or about six o'clock, I guess we would start that. And again, it was just every couple of hours that we would be up, but he wasn't, you know, up at 1 a.m. and sleeping for, um, you know, a couple hour or, wasn't awake for an hour or two at a time in the middle of the night. So it was nice. Usually just give him a bottle, lay him back down, and he was out for a few hours until he woke up again. So we did transition into his crib at about three months. He was using a swaddle still at that time. Um, and we just used the Swaddle Me, uh, I think it's Summer Infant Swaddle Me's. I love those. Um, it was really nice to just quickly be able to, you know, wrap them up versus I never really got the hang of like the uh, the other just normal swaddles where you really have to wrap them. I could never get it down, could never get it tight enough. Graham was always fighting me on it and he was able to get his hands up and things like that. So it was just much easier with the summer infant swaddle me is to get him snug at night. At that time we started to, uh, he was starting to roll a little bit. So we were starting to get concerned about, you know, him rolling over onto his stomach and, you know, being swaddled at that time. He wasn't doing it a lot, but he was showing signs of that. Um, and at that time, I was starting to get a little sick of waking up every, like, two hours, um, as most parents do. So I really started researching on Facebook and on YouTube and things like that for other products that maybe helped with you know the uh, moral reflex and um because he had it really bad he was jolting every every time he fell asleep so i really wanted something that was going to help with that but also you know i just wanted something that um he was going to feel as comfortable in as the swallow me's so I looked up um, a product called the Merlin Sleep Suit, and uh, we really enjoyed that kind of. I mean, he looks kind of funny in it. He looked like a big marshmallow. Um, and I think Graham runs really, really hot, so I think that really wasn't the best product for him. Um, he was waking up, I think, more frequently because of the fact that he was so warm. I mean, it really, it's, it says it's not supposed to, you know, create too much heat and things like that, but I think it did the opposite. Also, you know, Graham wasn't sleeping through the night, and he, so he was taking bottles at night. And trying to change his diaper in the middle of the night in that sleep suit was near impossible. Plus, it was super expensive. Um, I think I bought one or two of them, and I think it was, it was pretty expensive. Um, and for a product that um, probably wasn't the best for our son in the first place, you know, it kind of felt like money down the drain. Also, at about three months, we started to um, try sleep training, 
and I really researched it um, and a lot of people out there know a few, maybe you've researched it um, or have tried it and it works successfully for you. Um, but we tried the uh, Ferber method, which basically is like extinction. For those of you who don't know, it's basically you push your baby down and don't get back up. So it was really, really hard to hear him cry. Um, and you know, they, they say you can go back in after a certain amount of time and kind of, you know, just let them know that you're there and that it's time to go to sleep and just kind of reassure them. But in all honesty, it really just frustrated him even more for us coming in. And my husband and I were up for about an hour and a half. I was emotionally exhausted. My husband, you know, it's just your anxiety goes crazy because as a parent, when your child cries, the first instinct to do is to go to them and you know love on them or feed them or whatever they may need and it was really hard to distinguish if he really needed something if he was just upset um and it just was really really hard and not that it's ever going to be an easy thing but it really um just emotionally was hard on my son myself and my husband so we decided that we weren't going to do that um i know other moms out there have tried it and worked you know it worked perfectly well and maybe with our next child it will i'm hoping that the next baby will just sleep through the night from the very beginning fingers crossed but i really just wanted to make sure that my son um was comfortable and um it just again just really wasn't for us and at that time you know we're starting to push into four months five months area and um, he at that time was starting to roll. So I really was concerned about, um, again, like he, he, he literally is like this big marshmallow man and cannot move. And so with him like rolling over, you know, yeah, he could still, he had his hands, he could still push himself back up, but it just really wasn't that comfortable. Um, also with his hands, you know, there's no, um, the Marlon sleep suit, it's literally like his, there's no like um, covers on his hands and his feet. Then I put socks on or mittens or whatever. And I, if I didn't put on mittens or anything like that, and he was at this point a little too old for mittens, but he would have ice cold hands. And I don't know, I just felt bad. You know, I get snuggled up at night and have my hands covered. So I feel bad that my baby really was, you know, had freezing cold hands and just really wasn't that comfortable. So at six months is really where we kind of started the transition of um, from the Merlin sleep suit to a better product, which is my all time favorite product. I will forever tell parents about this um, because it really, really helped us. So the product that we got was the zippity zip and um this is a 12 month one um so it is pretty kind of hard to see in the frame but um basically i'll show you the smaller one this is the 12 month uh it's like 12 month to 24 month and this one is the medium which is in six months to 12 months this is where we really started transitioning in into this was in about six months so here is the six month, and as you can see, it had, you know, just like a little sleep sack, basically. Um, we call it his little starfish outfit, um, but the hands are closed and the feet are closed. Um, it has a zipper down the middle here. Um, this is amazing. It really helped us with the transition of him from the swaddle to this. Um, and like I said, we tried the Merlin sleep suit. It was kind of okay, but Graham was really showing signs of wanting to sleep on his stomach and I was getting really worried. This is the best product because he was able to, one, have his hands covered. Um, he was able to roll over. He's still able to self-soothe, which he's kind of a, he's a pacifier baby, so um, you know that's not too bad. But like, you know, in the middle of the night, if the pacifier would fall, he's able to grab it still. Um, whereas with the Merlin sleep suit, again, his hands were cold, so we put mittens on. With the mittens, it was a little harder for him to 
um, move his hands. Um, and so this has really just been a lifesaver. Um, he was able to roll over onto his stomach. I never had to worry. I was starting to get worried with like the summer infant, like he would kind of move his hands up and get it, you know, like stuck like that. I would look into the, into the monitor and his hand would just be like stuck like sleeping. And I would really get worried that, you know, he was gonna get tangled up. It was so nice to have this product and him to be able to roll over onto his stomach, to um, be able to self-soothe, and it just overall really made it easier for him to move from the swaddle to um, freely sleeping. So at about 10, 11 months, um, it was kind of a crazy time because my husband and I bought a first house. I started to become a little more of a stickler about him eating. Um, you know, he's eating solids, he's getting plenty of food through the day, tons of formula and milk and things like that. So I really knew at this time, like he was ready and he, he showed signs of him being ready. You know, he wasn't eating as much through the night. Um, he would only wake about once through the night. So it was time. <laughs> um, so what I did is kind of a little bit of fervor, um, not as much. It was mostly, you know, he would wake up through the night or he would wake up once through the night in his normal once and I would just basically install the monitor on I'd look at him um, I would let him kind of whine and he wasn't crying he wasn't like if he ever balls crying like hysterically crying I will get him but he you could tell he wasn't upset he was just like waking up and he's kind of in a daze and he's kind of fussing and but not really crying so I wanted him to learn that you can wake up at night, but it's okay to go back to sleep. Um, like I said, he was so used to when he woke up, mommy's gonna come in and give him a bottle and that ain't cutting it anymore. So um, I let him kind of fuss for about like 20 minutes um, and he would just put himself, he would roll over and put himself back to sleep. Um, again, he was never bawling crying or, you know, I was watching him on the monitor. He was doing fine. He just had to learn that it's okay to wake up and go back to sleep. We had a really great transition. It was maybe like a couple of days where he would wake up and he would fuss and cry for a little bit and then he was perfectly fine. So it was really, really nice. Um, you know, every, every night it would just get less time and less time and less time that he was awake and he was doing great. So it was so nice to finally, after 11 months to start getting a full night's sleep. You know, we put him down at about six o'clock and he wakes up at about six o'clock. So six o'clock is still kind of early. Um, but for now it works for us. And I kind of want to talk about the zippity zip and the product itself because it really is the best. So um, I'll kind of talk about like pricing and pros and cons of the product. So I'm gonna kind of read you um, something off of the website and kind of give you some more info on um, what the product claims that they do um, and kind of how it started. It, the price is $36.95. It says the slight resistance and wingspan allows baby to move freely while still providing the enclosed cozy sensation babies enjoy so much in the swaddle and in the womb. So basically what the claim is is that um, because of the enclosed design, so I mean a little starfish design, um, babies in the womb, if you think about it, they're in this tight closed space. So they really want to be able to um, push their arms out and feel like they're still in mom. So the moral reflex um, basically jolts the baby um, and makes you feel like they, or makes them feel like they're falling. Babies are born with that. Um, some babies have it worse than others. My son had it very bad and was constantly waking himself up from naps um, and from longer periods of sleeping. So the zippity zip basically is giving them a womb-like environment, um, but with the freedom of being able to roll over and um, self-soothe. 
So the Pro, to me, it's the best swaddle transition. Um, it is a wearable blanket, and that's a big reason why we still use it at 12 months old. Um, at this point, it's, you know, a lot of people say, you know, a lot of my friends and family, like, why don't you transition him out of that? Well, for us, it's nice because he may be able to, now, mind you, we have never tried after using the zippity zip to let him just have a normal nap. I'm kind of scared to, um, but I'm sure that he would do fine. But at this point for us, it's a wearable blanket. He's able to, um, you know, just, if it on, especially during the summer, we're able to just put him in a diaper and, you know, put the zippity zip on him and he's perfectly fine throughout the night. Um, on a cooler day, um, you know, we'll put him in, you know, pajama bottoms or pajama outfit, diaper, and the zippity zip, and he's perfectly warm through the night. He rolls around like crazy at night, and there is no way this kid is going to pull a blanket over himself. He's just not quite there yet. So for us, it gives me the assurance that he's gonna stay warm throughout the night. His hands are gonna be warm. So, you know, for us, it's kind of a win-win. Also, another pro of the zippity zip is all the designs. So they have tons of different designs that they change frequently. Um, also, they have a fleece version and a cotton version and like a thinner material version. So depending on where you live, I mean, I live in California, so obviously it's a little more warm most of the time. Warm most of the time. So um, you know, it's just usually nicer to have something a little thinner. But if you live in Colorado in the middle of the winter, you know you're gonna want something a little more warm. So the fleece will definitely help out. Um, so the different designs that we have, um, we have, or the ones that I have on hand right now, um, is the monkey, and then they have little nautical crabs, and I think we have a, like, beach one, I think it's like seahorses and shells or something, and then we have just no another nautical one, which is like a blue and white and a little bit of red. So they really do have a lot of really cute designs, um, which is nice. Um, the Merlin sleep suit, I feel like I'm bashing Merlin and I'm completely not, because um, again, it may work for some people, but it, again, just pros and cons of both products. Um, but the Merlin sleep suit, you only have like a couple of colors to pick from. And again, I really like being able to have these cute designs. Um, the other pro is he's still able to move freely. Um, the next one is I don't have to worry about him suffocating himself. There's no worry about it coming over his face um, or anything like that, like a swaddle. I mean, again, he's too old for a swaddle. A swa bleh. He's too old for a swaddle. Um, but again, a blanket, anything like that, he could pull over his face. Um, and there's always that hazard of suffocation. Um, the next pro is that it's now a sleep association. So it's part of our routine. A lot of times I can, and we use it for a nap, bedtime, everything. So usually if he sees it, he'll like crawl on, you know, on top of it. And he, you know, he knows that it's time for bed when he sees this. He knows that this is a part of sleep for him. Also, it is extremely easy for our relatives. Um, the Merlin sleep suit is kind of a pain in the butt, so the zippity zip was really nice. It's easy to transport. It's super thin. I mean, you can throw it into the diaper bag um, or an overnight bag and give it to a relative, and it's an easy instruction on how to use it. And the next pro, and the last pro, is that it's easy washing. So um, the Merlin sleep suit was very, very hard to wash. Um, it took a while to dry. You had certain instructions on like how you can and can't do it. And um, it did shrink. Um, so it was even tighter and um, not as comfortable. Um, with the zippity zip, I mean, it is, you know, wash warm, detergent only, no bleach, no iron, tumble dry on low. Um, it is 55% cotton and 45% monacrylic, monacrylic, and it is flame resistant. So for those parents that are concerned about, you know, um, in case there's a fire or anything like that, um, it is flame resistant. So the cons. So again, I don't really 
see these cons as like a horrible thing um, or reason not to get it. Um, but it is something to consider. Um, this product is quite pricey, so it retails for about $36.95. Um, of course, the Zippity Zip website does have special offers and things like that, so if you do sign up for um, subscription, you know, email subscription, they do send out a lot of, you know, buy two, get one, you know, like they have deals. So, um, you know, I think I got mine for a coupon code and I got $5 off of the product. The product is $36.95. Um, again, they do have some, you know, deals and things like that. Um, so sometimes I've seen some for, you know, $28 or, you know, something like that. But they never really take off like an extreme amount. Um, and you definitely want to have at least two. I have, uh, well, now we have four, but um, two were the smaller size, and then now we have the two large. So usually, like I said, I, you know, have one on hand in case, you know, he accidentally pees through his diaper or it just gets dirty and I'm washing one and I need one for his next nap. Unfortunately, you know, another negative is that it is another thing that we have to transition from. Um, and just like with the swaddles or a pacifier or a bottle or all those sleep, other sleep associations, um, eventually we have to wean him off of. And then the last con I guess I would say would be that he can't suck his thumb. Um, I mean, I guess he kind of could, but it's not as easy to do. So, I mean, if this is his hand in there, I mean, he could kind of push it out, but it's just not as comfortable. Uh, so he kind of can suck his thumb, but it's not really as easy or as comfortable. But for us, he uses a pacifier, so it's really not that bad. Um, you know, he's able to grab his pacifier, he's able to grab things in his crib with that. Um, and so it's really not a con for us. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer them. I will make sure to put um, the links of the Zippity Zip down below and um, let me know how you sleep trained your baby. Um, maybe you used the Merlin sleep suit and had success or maybe you're a Zippity Zip mom as well. Um, make sure to check out my other channel where I do um, vlogging of our daily lives and thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!